Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, was released in 2008, around the same time as when the fourth and, to date, last movie in the franchise came out. I hope that they make another one that makes up for the disappointment that was felt by many of the fans after seeing Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Anyhow, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a recreation of the first three movies in the franchise, much like how Lego Star Wars A Complete Saga was with the first six films in that franchise, and Lego Batman the video game was with, with the comic books, and mostly, I would say, the Tim Burton movies, seeing as we have the music from that in that game. In terms of the gameplay... It's what you'd expect with a Lego game nowadays. You build stuff like you would with real Lego toys in real life and you get to control the Lego counterparts of the characters from the first three movies and follow the stories. For each movie there are six levels, so in total there are 18 main levels. The hub world for this game is appropriately Barnet College, the place where Indiana Jones teaches as seen in the first, third and later fourth films. The graphics are good enough for a 2008 game and John Williams' music from the movies is recycled very nicely in this game. I really love the John Williams' music as I pointed out in my review of Lego Star Wars A Complete Saga because John Williams, he's probably the best music composer out there, isn't he? The Legos, The levels are nice and long and the game doesn't feel rushed or anything like that. The caricatures of the characters from the movies are funny in Lego form as always. Indiana Jones is scared of the snakes and short rounds can fit through small gaps and walls. As well as that, when you play as Willie Scott, you can make a scream just like she did in the Temple of Doom. And one weird thing is the female characters can jump higher than the male characters. A bit odd, but I suppose it works for the level mechanics. Compared to the other two LEGO games that I've already reviewed, I think that this is the weakest. But that's not to say I don't like it. I really do. I think it stays loyal to the first three movies of the franchise. But in terms of content, there's not as much as Star Wars or Batman. Because this is a game about three movies, whereas with Batman, you've got a whole universe of comic book characters to explore and with Star Wars well the possibilities are endless because that's an ongoing franchise but then a year later after the release of this game there was a sequel Lego Indiana Jones 2 the adventure continues and this game includes levels for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, as well as content from the first three movies. Now, seeing as I have only got the first game, there's not really much I can say about the sequel, but from what I gather, it's kind of a rip-off. Because what you're basically getting here is the same game with some additional content. So... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, Lego Indiana Jones 2 is basically the same game with some additional stuff just added into it. And it's not all that different from the first game. And in terms of today, we live in an age where games have DLC. Which most of the time is bullshit anyway because... We have to pay more money for it and that's really annoying because we already pay enough money to pay, to pay for the damn game anyway. So I'm just going to sum up my thoughts here and now on this and say from what I've played I'm happy. Never played the sequel, don't think I ever will, seeing as it contains Kingdom of the Crystal Skull which practically everyone I know and everyone on the internet seems to dislike. I am completely happy with the first game which contains the first three movies. That is all. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the link below to subscribe to me, James Croft, aka the Obsessorian95. Have a great day.